Do you like bare paint or paint colors in general? I'm guessing you like paint color nearly as much as me, which explains why you're watching this YouTube video. We're talking about bare paints hybrid, which is a fairly soft green color that can work really, really nicely in your home. Welcome to Color Quickie, where we break down paint colors, talk about their details, how you can use them, and then also build an entire color palette that you can use in your home or your next project if you're one of them designer people. So the first thing that I like to talk about is the more technical stuff about the color. LRV is one of the most important things to look at when you're assessing a color for your project. It's the light reflectance value. So it tells you from zero to 100, the amount of light that the color will reflect. And the more light it reflects, the lighter it will appear in practicality. So hybrid has a 60 LRV. And based on my experience, that is kind of the perfect amount of depth for wall colors. Not too dark, not too light, just sort of a nice happy medium. It is a warmer mid-tone green at the end of the day. And I think it's perfect for someone who's looking for a mid-tone green that isn't too grayed out or toned down. It has enough noticeable saturation. So if you did want to experiment with a little more color, but not go too vibrant at the same time, hybrid is a pretty good choice. I enjoy this seemingly comfortable hybrid of green and yellowy beige. So I do see this as a colorful alternative to beige and gray, which have been pretty popular but maybe it's time for something a bit different. And this color gives you that. Green is still the star of the show here, but you do have that beigey aspect mixed in as well to give it a little more familiarity, I guess, for most people. My opinion though, it's perhaps a bit too warm or yellowy for kitchen cabinets based on my taste. I'm a little more partial to either softer sage greens or rich, darker, emerald, jewel tone greens for cabinets and hybrid it sort of sits in the warm middle between those two. As a wall color for the kitchen, I actually like that option quite a bit more paired with much lighter off-white cabinets for some contrast. But if you didn't want to use it in your kitchen at all, you know, I wouldn't blame you either. Hybrid is also a solid exterior color for those of you that want something a little more fun on the main body of your home, or maybe a subtle accent color on the door. Perhaps you're not ready to go with like a mustard Dijon yellow or a robin's egg blue. <laughs> Hybrid sort of a starter accent color for your front door. Hopefully you're liking the video so far. If you are, press that like button for me and subscribe to stay up to date with our videos. We do six a week. Now let's get into some color pairings and build out this color palette for you. For free, baby. Bleached Linen is the first one. This has an LRV of 85. Super light paint color, a lot lighter than I normally recommend for the walls, but you'll get what I mean later on with this palette. A lot of lighter tones, very airy. This is a very pretty off-white to me. It has a tad of a peachy undertone, extremely full of life and buoyant and just airy. That's the best way I can describe it. I do see this as the main color of the palette, or at least the first main color option. And it just has this uplifting feel and it's gonna reflect a lot of light back into your space, which is a nice little practical advantage. Next color is Ivory Palace, another light color. This one has a light reflectance value of 82. So not quite as bright, but still kind of up there. A tad darker. This color also feels like a bit of a creamy off-white, although there is a fairly subtle green undertone here. Maybe it'll be even more apparent next to bleached linen. I find that this color fits hybrid a little easier and more simply. Like there's a direct relation between the two with that bit of green. So they will coordinate much easier within the same space. And then bleached linen on the other hand, yeah, a little more complimentary. Not really green on green, so there will be sort of a nice little dynamic relationship there. Might be a bit trickier to implement, but it could look really good as well. As for Ivory Palace, yet another main color option. Very light wall colors here in this palette, but I like them. That leaves color number three, which is Sanderling. So this is sort of the accent choice of the bunch. Sanderling has an LRV of 44, so not overly dark, all things considered. It feels a bit like a tan, which is still very organic and earthy feeling, but it becomes a bit of an accent because of its undertones. It sort of feels a bit red or even rose gold, which will be very much noticeable when paired with the other colors. I feel like for an accent color, it actually has a decent amount of flexibility because of its neutral base, so you can use it more. As long as it doesn't become the main color, the main player, it is meant to be the tertiary choice, I would say. Little bits here and there, even in full rooms, like a nice sitting room or 
living room. You could justify a bedroom as well. Like there's a lot of ways you can use it. What about your trim? So your baseboards, your woodwork, your crown molding if you're lucky to have that, whatever the choice may be. These are two colors that you can use whether you wanna go a bit lighter or a bit darker. The light option is Whisper White, which has an LRV of 89. I purposely tried to find something that was lighter and brighter, especially compared to those off-whites that we talked about in the wall color section. Although I didn't necessarily wanna go the brightest white possible either. Whisper White's nice because it's an underrated, clean, stark white, and I feel like it's crisp without having a clear kind of cool color cast. Sometimes if you get too stark and bright, you can have a white that looks a bit gray leaning or even blue leaning. This one doesn't really have that issue. I just find it to be an easy choice, probably for the majority of people watching, that's what I would use on your baseboards. And of course you can just go with pre-mixed white too. You know, that's an option, whatever. Now the less easy choice, I guess, is patio stone for your trim. This one has an LRV of 13, so much darker. It's a really rich, dark taupe. I kind of see it as dark chocolate mixed with charcoal. Dark charcoal it. I beg your pardon? Why do I always do that? It's a very deep, good trim color or an alternative darker door color as well. I love to do that sometimes. Instead of going white door frames and white door, you can do white door frame and dark door. Or dark door frame and white door? Maybe not that. Here's the palette all together. Take a look. What do you think? What do you like? What do you don't like? Obviously you like it all, right? And if you like me and wanna support me even more, you can become a channel member by clicking that join button. Just a small nominal fee to help support what I do six days a week, full time. Thank you for doing that. And as a reward, here's another color palette for you. They're just gonna keep coming.